Hi, Rudy Winston from Canon USA. And in this EOS 6D Mark II tutorial, we'll explain some of the video features in this camera and give you an idea of some of the ways you can use them when you're recording video. The first group of settings I want to talk about concern image quality when you're recording video. Probably the most important place to start is with your choice of picture style settings. Out of the box, the default setting for video is what we call auto picture style, but you can get a lot more control if you go in and make some choices here. One that I definitely recommend you try is the neutral picture style setting, especially if you're shooting outdoors in sunlight or in harsh indoor lighting conditions. The neutral picture style can give you much smoother tonalities, control your brightness, and at the same time give you detail in your shadows. Another setting that goes hand in hand with the neutral picture style is highlight tone priority. Highlight tone priority is going to adjust your tone curve to give you control of extremely bright areas of the scene without affecting your mid-tones and your shadows. So combining the neutral picture style and highlight tone priority can really make a difference in the look of your video when you're shooting in bright sunlight or in contrasty indoor lighting. There's another interesting video option that you have that can control image quality, and that's to use HDR video, high dynamic range video in the camera. Turn the camera's mode dial to the SCN, or special scene mode setting. When you're set for video, this will automatically engage HDR video, and the HDR video will record a 30 frames per second full HD video where your highlights and to some degree your midtones are toned down in brightness without affecting your shadows to give you more dynamic range and more control over the look of your video files. There's another neat feature that is particularly useful if you have to record video and you just don't have the time to be able to go into the computer afterwards and edit multiple video files into one finished video the video snapshot feature. When you activate video snapshot, it's going to give you in the menu a choice of doing two second clips, four second clips, or eight second recordings. As you take each separate recording, it will blend them into one finished assembled video and write that to your memory card. The video snapshot can actually be a very effective way of documenting a process with multiple short video shots or even documenting an event. Another cool video feature that you have in the camera is the ability to do a time lapse video. With the EOS 6D Mark II, you can set a time interval anywhere from one second to nearly 100 hours between each video frame and the camera will assemble each frame into a finished video file on your memory card. And you have a choice of whether this finished time-lapse video file is in 4K size or 1080p Full HD size. If you are going to be following a subject as you record video, you could be walking to follow a subject or in some cases even jogging or running to follow a subject, you know that one of the things you want to avoid is jerky, shaky video. There's a feature that you can turn on in the menu called Movie Digital IS, which is going to team up with any stabilization in your lens to give you smoother and steadier video results. It'll even work with lenses that don't have image stabilization. You can turn it to Enable, which simply activates the Movie Digital IS, or an enhanced setting that gives you even more shake correction when you're moving after a subject. One thing to keep in mind is the way the Movie Digital IS works is digitally at the imaging sensor. So if you have it turned to enable or enhanced, it is going to crop the video image somewhat. What you see as you record on the LCD monitor is correct, but just understand that Movie Digital IS will crop into your image a little bit. And the final features I want to talk about are your abilities to remote control the camera when you're recording video, to start and stop video recording without having to touch the camera. There are a number of different ways that you can do this. 
One is to use the EO6 D Mark II's built-in Wi-Fi capability along with a compatible smartphone or tablet that has the Canon Camera Connect app installed. And with that, all you have to do is connect the two, turn the app on, and then just simply press a button on your mobile device to start recording, press it again to turn it off. Another option that you have is to use Canon's optional RC6 infrared remote controller. This little device will allow you to start and stop video recording up to about 15 feet from the camera. Similarly, there's an optional Canon BRE1 Bluetooth remote controller that can let you remote control the camera from similar distances. The difference with the BRE1 is that since it's using Bluetooth technology and not infrared, you can be anywhere within about 15 feet of the camera, including behind it, and reliably start and stop video operation. And then finally, we have traditional optional wired remote controllers. The EOS 6D Mark II gives you outstanding video quality to begin with. But the cool thing is that with some of the features and capabilities that you have built into the camera, you can really refine the look and feel of your video and tailor it to exactly the type of project that you're shooting and the look that you want in your finished video files. Really makes it easy to get professional looking video when you work with the 6D Mark II camera.